Medic. Hey guys. I'm just kidding. That's really not my voice. Um, this is Destry, and this is the first video on this channel, Tutorialosis, which incidentally sounds like an STD, but it's it's not. I would I would know. This first video that I'm going to be doing is a reason for tutorial on how to make the strange Transformers noise that you hear in the movies Transformers and the second one. I don't really like the second one, but we won't go into that. The sound that I made uh, sounds a lot like this. So it's like really, really bassy, and it sounds really, really close to the original. And so I'll kind of just walk you through how I made it. What you first want to do is go and start a new project in Reason. Um, I have mine preset out, so it's all has mastered out, and it has its mixer. Go to Create, Maelstrom. Maelstrom has naturally two oscillators, A and B, and you'll be using both in this video. But first what you want to do is initialize the patch so you don't have some annoying patch that just was previously loaded in. The first thing you'll want to do with this first oscillator is turn it to Vocorder Swirls, which is right here. Basically this will just sound like this. Already kind of robotic, but not the sound we're looking for. So let's just drag us out a note that we can use. So we're going to work on this right here and make it sound as well as we can make it sound. So what you first want to do is drop this oscillator down 2, so it'll be at oscillator 2, uh, and then put the shift up to 8 or 7, depending on if your computer is homosexual or not, and that will make it sound like this pretty low and gnarly. Yes, I did just use the word gnarly. We're going to focus now on modulating this bitch. How you would go about that is turn this wavelength into this right here. It starts up here and then goes steadily down. To make it sound awesome, put the rate down here around, let's go 40. And then change the pitch pretty much all the way up. So it'll sound like this. So it already sounds pretty fucking awesome, but that is not it. Go here to modulator B, and we're not going to change this waveform at all. But what we will change is the filter up about here. So change that to around the same. And uh, make this rate to 84. And now it'll sound pretty close to what the final draft will sound like. Pretty sexual, right? What I like doing is adding a second bass kind of track to this by clicking this oscillator B on and then just putting this down to here so it's at oscillator 1. Maybe boosting this up even a little bit so it sounds like this. But I'm not really completely finished with this. What you also should do is go up here to create an equalizer set the low shelf up pretty high so it's more bassy and delicious and then with parameter 2 put the gain up around here and then you want it to be on the second to last bar that you see and then spread that bitch out so this is what the final product should sound like another thing you might want to do is put the release up around here that way it doesn't just suddenly drop off you could also add, you know, reverb or whatever you want to do. The only thing I did kind of extra was set the treble and the EQ by clicking this EQ button and put that up a little bit. And I put the bass all the way up just so it sounds really bassy. So a little something you can do once you have all this sounded out is um, what I did. It's pretty nerdy and gay. Don't make fun of me. You have this sound. And then I added actually my own voice and I just kind of put a little bit of modulation on it so it sounds like a fucking Decepticon. And this is what it sounds like. Death Touch reporting for duty. Yeah. And Death Touch is actually an ability in Magic the Gathering, but whatever. So yeah, that's what I decided to do with it. I actually probably might make a dubstep song into it. I think it'd be pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the first Reason tutorial and there'll be more soon. Fair winds, YouTube!